from Heritage Electrical and this is what a consumer unit should look like after installation. This is the quality of the products that you should be using as well. So here we've chose to use a Hager consumer unit. We've got other good makes as well, Schneiders and Crabtree and things like that. You can buy budget boards, but I wouldn't advise buying any of that equipment really. I would recommend a premium brand like this one that we've fitted here due to the build quality of the product, the availability of ways in it. You can see we've got a 20 available way board here. If you go to buy a budget one, you're gonna be you know maximum 12, 14 ways or something like that. So if you wanna expand it in future, or if it's a bigger installation, you're gonna be bottlenecked by the amount of circuits that you can fit due to the budget board. We've used individual RCBOs, so each circuit has got its own separate RCD built into it. The Hager RCBOs and Crabtree and all the other good manufacturers test each RCBO when it comes out of the factory. Every one is quality tested. RCDs are required as a regulation now for any cables that are buried less than 50 mil deep in a wall. So pretty much every domestic installation is going to require RCDs on all circuits now. So you need an RCD because it protects you against very minor, minor faults it can pick up. So these are a lot safer for protecting people from faulty appliances and electrocution. This is what the finished product should look like. It should be neat, all the cables are sequential with the corresponding breakers. So breaker number one has neutral number one, earth number one. Breaker number two, three, four, two, three, four, two, three, four. That's how it should look at the end. That's the end result. In the back of the board, you've got grommets protecting the cables coming into the consumer unit. You've got fire expanding foam or you've got fire silicon blocking up any gaps so fire can't escape if, if fire starts inside. This is a metal board, which is non-combustible material, which now all consumer units have to be made out of and installed now in every, in every installation. On a board today as well, we're supposed to leave some spare ways for future. So here you've got three spare ways there, and you should always make sure that the blanks are in the board. So when the cover goes on, there's no expose parts that you can get your fingers in. So when that's on, the majority of the time, every installation we go to and we see, there'll be blanks missing. You can get your fingers inside, touch the buzz bar and get a shock. So it's very important that these are always fitted. Normally in a house, you will get an old backboard, which the electric meter and which the main cutout is fixed to. And 90% of the time, it will be flapping off the wall and it won't be safe. The majority of people, again, will just leave that and fit the new consumer unit and not bother with it. What you should be doing is, what we've done here, we've took it all off, replaced it with a nice new solid, solid backboard so it's not going anywhere. So that should be done also. This is an example of a rewire that we've done. If you have any queries about any installations, rewires, condition reports, don't hesitate to give us a call.